on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Are you seriously gonna do what that kid says? We don't have a choice. Mr. Shield, honestly, he's just one kid, that's all. Yes, but he was able to sneak by guards into my daughter's quarters and... <clears throat> Either way, he seems to know the terrain more than we do, so even if we did try, it wouldn't be right. Or easy. But the Master Emerald. Think about that. Your daughter Tankley has a quirk because of one insignificant palm sized emerald. Could you imagine if we had that giant one? Oh. Are you serious? I'm just saying. Like. How about this? We follow him. Or have some drones pretty much monitor him while we try to upscound with the Master Emerald. At least then we won't have to worry about him getting in our way or at least being there before it's finished. Mm, no. You can't do that. Why not? It's not right. If anything, if I didn't need the emerald, I'd probably give that up to him as well. In fact, maybe I should. <laughs> Sir, I... I would uh, like to tell you that that is very foolish. Well, luckily, I don't need your opinion. We just need to hurry up to Eye Island and get the emerald. The sooner we can give it to him, the sooner he can power it up. But it would be interesting to know how. Hmm. You, you don't think. What? Uh. No. I, I'm. No. I, I'm not thinking anything. Come on, Mr. Shield. You really. really want your. Daughter. Have a quirk. She has one now because of the emerald. Let's not forget, it's technically her fault that I Island lost power. No, it's not. It just so happens that she absorbed some of it with energy. The last of it. At the very least, she. He doesn't seem to have uh, much issues. Leave my daughter out of this, please. Very well. As it takes three days to get back to I Island, then three days back. Izuku, he's waiting for them right where he met them. Is it? Do you have the animals? Yes. Hand it over. Wait, is it what? You do promise to give it back once it's charged. Yes, I will. I am mad at my word. Are you? Yes. Good. He's either taking it and he going back to Master Emerald to charge it. In which 
Yeah. Jabez is pretty much like he wouldn't lie to us. He wouldn't. Melissa trying to like, it would make no sense for him to try to keep it. I mean, we have him outnumbered. We have weapons that could easily take out. I'm not so sure. What? Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like something is off about that kid. For some reason. As then Izuku comes crashing down, they see that he is pissed. Do you want to explain this? Is that one of your fucking robots? Him destroying it. I, I, I don't understand. It seems like someone was peeking at the Master Emerald. I only got there just to see one of your robots trying to Upscon with it? I'm sure you have a good reason why. Is it, wait, where's the chaos? It's right here. Is it? Yeah. It's charged alright. But I want a good explanation to why. Unless. You were going to. Were you going to steal it? What? What? You were going to steal the Master Emerald right from under my nose, weren't you? No, no. We we, we couldn't. We we wouldn't. I. Uh, just when I thought I could trust someone, I've been alone for so long. The first person I try to give my trust to tries to take advantage of my kindness. I, I, this one, Melissa, is this one, Melissa's wait. Those aren't ours. What? <sighs> Listen, I know what it how it looks, but it's not everything is not as it seems. We hired someone for these automatons in which, yeah, they have complete other control over them while we, okay, so you're saying someone else is controlling these things, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, that's a likely story. Forgive me if, if I don't fully believe you. I don't care what you believe. All I know is we're not the ones trying to steal it. Fine. Here. Take the emerald. Power up your island. And leave. Alright. As, yeah, Melissa, she's pretty much like, she's a little salty. <sighs> Muscle head. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry, are you, uh, hard of hearing? <clears throat> Let's leave him alone. No, no. Listen, he tried to accuse us of trying to steal his precious master emerald. He jumped to the conclusions. Weren't your people trying to shoot at me? Didn't one of you, honest to God, actually try to conspire to steal it from me last time you were here? What? As she looks at David and says, Dad, what is he talking about? How did you, can you, uh, <sighs> it's 
just say there are eyes and ears everywhere. Uh, right. As they leave. But Melissa turns back at Izuku one more time, seeing a somewhat upset look on his face. I don't think he really wanted us to leave. What? He seemed sad. As then he's, a, he's like, Hey, Knuckles. What? Hmm. Can we come back for a visit? His face brightens up a little bit. It's like, then it just goes back to stoic. As long as you don't try to take anything away. As long as you don't steal it from me. Fine. Do what you want. Her seeing before they leave him jumping for joy. <laughs> Are you so childish? Meanwhile, on I Island, they reinstall the Chaos Emerald. Only thing is, since it just got recharged to full capacity, it's a lot more power than they anticipated. And just like Izuku said, when it counts for it being an enhancer, mixed in with a new technological advanced. Melissa, the it goes straight through her and starts upgrading the island, making it so the island starts to float above the sea. Everyone who's on the island is freaking out, thinking it's an earthquake. It's like, wait, no, that's not possible. Melissa, unable to control it, as yeah. What's happening, Dad? The, sh the, the, the island, the Chaos Emerald. Uh, wait, what do we do? <laughs> David thinks we need to find him. Well, Knuckles, we we need his help. He's the one that charged it. Maybe he can be the one to fix it. Looks like our visit's going to be a lot sooner than we anticipated. As he heads straight towards Angel Island and Izuku, upon sensing them, is like, They're back. All happy, but has to be cold and brooding. Him seeing David is like, wait, why do you look so worried? What happened? To the chaos and what would you do? I charged it. Why is it using my dollar to enhance? Oh. Okay, I understand now. Please explain. Well, think of it like this. Like I said before, they're enhancers. Your daughter absorbed the energy directly from the chaos and roll itself, gained her superior intellect, but. Once I recharged it up to full power, it's still wanting to update it. At least, her. Since it does share somewhat of a linked connection now, her gaining the power she has to a point where, wait, what else is happening? The island's floating. Oh. Okay, yeah. Let me guess. Your daughter's ambitious. She wants to help you as much as she can. She tries to make, make things better or add upon what you've already built. Yeah. It seems as though her newly found quirk is actually now evolved beyond just an enhanced intellect and such. Now looks like she has technomancy. What? She cannot control machines and that 
is starting to feed on her desire to pretty much help you. No. So my daughter is, she's indirectly, or at least technically she is directly doing it, but she's not willingly doing it is this whole thing. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Oh well. Looks like I have no choice. What? I can't believe I'm gonna have to do this. I don't think I'm not the best driver. What are you talking about? If anything, I'm going to level out the whole chaos energy. But the only way to do that is with the Master Emeralds, considering it can enhance, empower, as well as negate or balance out chaos energy. What? Oh yeah, that's what it's for. Oh. Really? Uh-huh. If anything, eh, it won't take long. I just need to get things prepared and to ask the gods steer this thing. The island moves. It's a floating island. As long as we have power, that's all we need. As Izuku actually starts steering the fucking island, he is driving it towards the location of I Island, which is only going higher as it starts to get more complicated, intricate, and whatnot. To a point where Melissa, she's feeling a bunch of strain coming from this. Her feel like this is. <sighs> I just want to take a nap. But why can't I close my eyes? And then everyone starts to see the, an island start to come closer and closer. Melissa seeing this, but also sensing this weird energy source. She knows exactly what's happening. It's Izuku! Or, in this case, Knuckles, she's she has mixed feelings on why and she's still salty about about that he copped a feel like that. But on the other hand, it's pretty much like thank you for showing up. And yeah, he's not slowing down. Meaning he is playing to us, oh, the god ram them. Everyone freaking out, trying to take for cover, get shelter. In which, as soon as it slows down, Izuku just notices, like, wait, something is not. As tendrils just pop out from I Island and start to attach themselves to Angel Island. Izuku's like, wow, she must have figured out what I was planning. What? Well, seems like she's going to actually try to transfer some of that energy onto the island, or at least make it so it's technically in direct contact with the Master Emerald in some shape or form. But this could take a while. As then Melissa finally is released from the influence of the Chaos Emerald. David and Izuku run in there and see, are you alright? Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure, no problem. Ugh. Huh? What the? Who are these guys? Him just pointing at some news reporters. Keep this angel island a secret. 
Yeah. They're broadcasting it worldwide. Huh? As in, reporters, cameras are all pointing at Izuku. They're wondering, you know, where does island come from? How was it able to stop the whole ascension of I island? Just giving him question among question. Him knowing I can't disclose everything. But also, like, oh man, I can't just, I, um, someone help me out here. It's like, Moses, oh, um. I got nothing. Well, uh, ah, David. Well, those who know, I Island has come across this extremely useful energy source, in which as soon as it lost power, we uh, had to find its source. This island is where the last of the, what tribe were you part of? Knuckles. Knuckles. Knuckles tribe. In which they were, uh, you know, directly responsible with powering these. Wait, are you saying that I island's power came from something from this island? Uh, but I, yes, but it's the people who, all, all, and only the people who know how to do it. So in our search for recharging the Chaos Emerald, we discovered the last remaining member. But in your study, in, in the excavation site, you claim that the Chaos Emerald, right, Chaos Emerald, right, it didn't look like anything like an emerald, just go with it, right, you claim that it dated back hundreds of years, but then what happened to the rest of them, wouldn't there usually be more than just this kid, well, Things happened, and, uh... Oh. No more questions. So, now what? Well, sadly, people know you're here now, so... Uh... Sorry. No, the fault's mine. I, I don't want to decide to charge it to full power. I did not think about how much power you truly needed. And with that, I do apologize. Oh. It, it's fine, uh, Knuckles. <sighs> yeah, but if anything, it seems as though I endangered what's left of my people by helping you. But I, I don't regret it. Really? Nope. I'm actually fine with it. It's just... <sighs> I can't believe that after so long of being able to keep it safe, this is how everyone learns about it. I try my best. My very best to make sure that it wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. 
What makes you think it will? Because if it's not a secret, that means everyone knows about it. From what you told me, your new world villains are opportunists. They either find a way to capture me or find out what truly powers the Chaos Emeralds. And God help us all if that happens. Huh. Where are those robots? Well, what robots? Yeah, remember the ones you brought to the island? Oh, those? Huh. Actually, now that you say something, we haven't seen those in a while. Really? That's... That's kind of weird. As then Izuku gets a vision in which he hears something shout, Help me! I'm being stolen. Him recognizing it as the Master Emerald. Upon realizing this, they're going for the Emerald. Him running like a bat out of hell, and them seeing red lightning as he's running faster to the point where. Uh. This is when David looks at him, Melissa, can you do that? I have no idea. To the point where Melissa starts running after him, not the same speed, but this is when she notices something off. Damn it, if only I could fly as she starts floating. But then she's like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How, how is this? And then she looks behind her and sees two tails protruding from her backside. It's like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Then I don't know where some orangish yellow lightning starts to emit from her her zooming past several trees hitting quite a few branches on the way until she tackles izuku by accident him looking as yes this giant ass robot is trying to steal the master emerald izuku does not take too kindly to that to a point where he knows he could easily destroy it, but what's that? What's to stop them from trying it again? So he has to weigh his choices: should he destroy the robot, only for more to show up, possibly, or should he risk uh, destroying the emerald? Him saying "fuck that" and destroying the robot. Uh, so who in the hell would think of something so mean, malicious? Who could try? Who would try to steal the emerald? I mean, knowing about it is one thing, but. Huh. Let me think. Robotnik. His name is Robotnik. Well, he's Robotnik. As far as I'm concerned. And that is how that ends. But Izuku, upon getting more visitors, everyone's looking at the ruins, seeing the leftovers of everything that's happened. Izuku's people are built when it comes to the extreme gear there are a bunch of kids wanting to see how it works Izuku's uh, well as you can see they're customizable vehicles you could say 
each having a different kind of purpose, but hmm, like this skateboard is perfect for grinding. Motorcycle, great for when you want to plow through anything in your way. Ah, glider. Yeah, as long as you can make it to these circles here. You can glide and technically fly for as long as you want. As he keeps talking more and more about them, this is when someone is like, okay, what about those? Huh? Oh. What? Those are weapons. They, but they just look like gloves. Well, yeah, to the untrained eye, yeah, they are technically gloves, but... Him just slipping one of them on and causing a rift. Almost an earthquake. Uh, weapons! Got it! Him actually being somewhat of a tour guide of everything. When it comes to the animals and the food uh, he does not uh, hesitate to like my favorite food is actually grapes but it's when he's like uh oh then he remembers chow like uh I don't know how chow was respond to them a lot happens so huh he goes back to his place leaving everyone else to their own devices as he sees that Chow is hiding are you alright just nodding yes oh thank goodness I was so worried about you don't worry. As, yeah, just like you would expect, Chow can only say Chow and Izuku's was like, okay, don't freak out, but we're, we're going to have to adjust to some new changes. Okay. Chow's just confused. Until Izuku actually is like, uh, <sighs> we have visitors, and I don't think they're malici malicious, at least, I hope they're not. Chow, again, confused, like, who wouldn't? And Izuku decides to finally introduce his friend. Melissa, upon seeing this, is like, so cute, wait, you you said you were alone. Yeah, I lied. So you weren't really lonely? So, uh, Chow isn't really uh, much for conversation. All the kids and little girls are pretty much like, how cute. Chow... Loving the attention, but it's kind of weird seeing so many people at once to the point where Chow is actually overwhelmed and faints. But, Izuku, for the most part, he's enjoying the new company. Some people are actually considering moving in while he, he's trying to like decide, is that really a good idea? When it comes to I Island, they find out that, like, wow, this place would be great for studying as well, seeing how this does this, how this works. Because of the air gears, extreme air gear, oh, hell. Every child wants one. <laughs> Even some adults who's just like, I want to try this at least once. You won't try the real boards, damn it. Well, this is actually thing the technology here 
though ancient seems way more advanced than what they have. Hmm. Hey, I wonder. But. Oh, nothing. Just. As she's like. She uses her technomancy given powers. Here. What? Her handing him the Chaos Emerald. What are you doing? Well, since I Island doesn't, since we, wait, are you saying, well, I don't think I Island is going anywhere, and since our two islands are now connected, I don't see why the emerald can't be where it belongs with you with us what I mean technically you guys are practically neighbors though yes I got in this a huge area I even I haven't seen all of it Uh, oh, oh, okay. Cool. Izuku and Melissa actually hitting it off. Yeah, they're the best of friends right now. Despite their meeting. When it comes to the whole scouting I know there's just a lot more they easily could really anticipated. He sees ruins that he hasn't even looked at. He's seen fruit and animals that he didn't even think existed or could exist. Is Melissa pretty much is like his teacher as well as his friend. Everything's going good. The Master Emerald is still safe. Whenever there is a robotic attack, Izuku arms not only the eyes and his defenses against them, but also some upgraded new weapons thanks to Melissa and I Island's technology. It's safe to say that, yeah, this actually turned out pretty well, all things considered. She's already forgiven him for. Filling her up, but still, <laughs> yeah, it's still awkward. When he goes to take a bath, he's it's weird for him to actually adjust to other people being there. But it's an enjoyable adjustment. Then yes, he it's been a while since he's had neighbors as well as other people to talk to. This is one of the best things ever for him. He's not fully alone anymore. He can talk to people, have great conversations. The only thing is, uh, my mom always told me, be careful, because sometimes things can go sour very quick. Oh, and boy, did they ever. Because in the dark of the night, there's an alarm at the temple. It's been a whole year since this whole thing has occurred. Izuku is now 15. It's like, oh, what the? Who's. Is someone trying to. As Melissa is like, Izuku, there's a problem here. Uh, what? Wait, what are you talking about? Someone's trying to steal the emeralds. When Izuku and Melissa show up, 
what they see is not a robot, but people. 